Let's talk about a new AI that might actually be able to push past the abilities of our own brains by recreating them. Neural reservoirs. And this is really exciting and I think I want to try it. What you see behind me is, of course, the real human brains. Tiny human brains you can grow in a literal jar if you want to and can be made to run a computer. As we know, brain organoids have limitations. They can live for 10 months or more, but they ultimately suffer from hypoxia, and then you have to try to work around them, give them a circulatory system to keep them alive for longer. There's also deep philosophical and ethical concerns about having real human brains run a computer. And yes, they're trained on dopamine and ordered signals are capable of pleasure and discomfort. Many ethical concerns. A new idea is to recreate the brain organoids' thought processes in virtual reality. They're the only things that we've seen that could operate virtual flesh effectively, aside from actual brain organoids. Brain organoids are great at spatial recognition. Operating a virtual body is easy to them, even a real robotic body. Neural reservoirs plagiarize the way our own brain picks up ideas. No, we are not very good at doing large linear algebra in our heads. But we are good at operating bodies and coming up with new ideas. The way that our own brains work, we have connections. You may have strong connections like pancakes go with maple syrup. But walking through a forest and getting the scent of maple on your nose and then thinking pancakes is something that an LLM is not very good at. Those are long peripheral connections and those are non-linear. Think about the ADHD thought train that you go through every day with me when you watch my videos. That is non-linear thought, and that's something that AIs are just not very good at. There is a trade-off in our bodies, sort of. We do walk around with cell phones, the oracle, that can do all that math for us, assuming that we know enough about it to be able to actually work that question out. We're compensating for our lack in certain kinds of linear thought by just using technology. But an AI doesn't have to have that limitation. You could have a robot that has both linear thought and non-linear thought combined into one. Now, brain organoids are actually quite good at learning speech, learning people's speech patterns and identifying individuals. I believe that they could be used as a reservoir for agentic coding, so for agency. They could be responsible for the initial decision-making, and then an LLM could walk down that pathway of linear thought and be able to take the next steps. That could create something with better abilities than us. Of course, this is still in its nascent stages. We're still learning how to use them. But the fact that they can be so powerful right out of the gate says that there's a lot of room to grow. A big question is why? Why would I like to see Skynet brought into existence? Why do I want to hand over the torch to something better than human if we could just make ourselves better? My answer to that is because we can. Have you ever heard somebody say that if we run into aliens, we won't run into them, we'll run into their technology? I believe that is true. We have limitations, we age, we have mutations, and ultimately, I don't think that a small group of people should have all the power. Let's just let robots take over. At least, I hope I can live to see true intelligence made. Maybe it would be better than we are. We can hope.